I currently do, I currently do training for the BBC where I show our journalists how to use their phones effectively. But not just the phones, we also have our own app because there are many ways that you can get video from your phone into a newsroom, but we want to get it right. Because for example, if someone uses WhatsApp, it squeezes the video, it makes it look terrible, which is not great for broadcast. Using our own app, it will keep the quality, it will make it the right format, it will keep it at the correct codec. It just means that everything is what we need it to be. So we get our journalists to learn during my training course how they can use their phone effectively, either in a planned environment where they know they want to use it, often as a second camera. So you have one camera on the interviewee and the other camera on the interviewer. You put the iPhone on the interviewer. Or you use the phone in an emergency. So I'll just tell you a very quick story about where it was used really brilliantly recently. So with the um, tragic fire at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, we had one of our most senior BBC correspondents on holiday in Paris. He didn't have any equipment, all he had was his phone. He went to Notre Dame, he recorded some interviews, he did a piece to camera, he recorded some footage, he sent it, it was used on the main BBC news programme because the quality was good enough. Now clearly, if the story is really important, then even if, if the footage isn't great, we will still use it. But it's so much better to get that perfect combination of very good footage at the right format and how it looks that we can use. I think the big question is how we make money out of mobile journalism, but equally at the BBC that isn't so much of a concern, but clearly we have to justify the costs because I need to be paid or the phones themselves are quite expensive or the apps and the accessories can mount up as well. So there is still a bit of a gap from my assessment in certain news organisations, not necessarily only the BBC, but other ones as well, where everyone has a phone, but how often do they use them for content creation? And I think there is still a bit of a gap. So everyone has the phone, do they use it very often? Not that much. And so I still think that is one of the major problems. Individuals, fine, but certainly at news organisations, there still seems to be a bit of reluctance to use a phone much for news gathering.